What are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd make you a cup of tea. Oh, that's very kind of you, but it's my turn, I think. Okay. I accept partial responsibility for the accident that you just saw. In this video, we're going to look at the causative. That is, when someone has or gets something done for them. This video is also accompanied by a PDF that you can download, which includes some notes and some questions for you to practice. You can find the PDF in the description to this video. The PDF is free, but you'll have to enter your email address to get it. You will then be added to our email list and you'll start receiving our newsletter. But don't worry, you can unsubscribe at any time. I still don't understand why there was a banana skin on the floor. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Are you sure you didn't leave it there? Please. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm more bothered about the fact that I can't walk. I'm going to have to have a lot of things done for me until I get better. This is an example of the causative. It's often used to describe a situation where you arrange for another person to perform an action, but you receive the benefit. It emphasizes the fact that you don't perform the action yourself. To illustrate, let's look at hair. I have very short hair and it's very simple to cut, so I do it myself. However, many, if not most of you, go to a barber or hairdresser to have your hair cut. Another person performs the action and you receive the benefit, so we use a causative. For a basic causative sentence, begin with the subject, then have in the tense that you want, the object and the past participle of the verb. So you can make a causative sentence in the past, I had my hair cut. In the present, I have my hair cut. Or in the future, I'm going to have my hair cut. It's Tuesday, man. I always have my hair cut on Tuesdays. Don't worry, I'm going to do it. Fine, I don't have a lot of choice, do I? This won't take long. <sighs> Joe said, I always have my hair cut on Tuesday. He could have said, I always get my hair cut on Tuesday. Okay, let's get back to the haircut. I bet Joe looks amazing. I look ridiculous. Matt, I'm hungry. Can you fix me a sandwich? Sure. So what's on the menu? Nothing. Your fridge was empty. We'll have to get a pizza delivered. I don't know. Last time it took like two hours to arrive. Why don't you go to the restaurant and pick it up? Extra anchovies as per usual. And remember, I don't like tomatoes or cheese. Don't worry, I remember. So, they've decided not to get a pizza delivered. Will Matt remember that Joe doesn't like cheese and tomato? Why am I talking about myself in the third person? So many questions. So far, we've used the causative to talk about when you arrange for someone to do something for you. But you can also use it to describe bad things that happen to you. I forgot what you wanted, so I've got you an apple. Come closer. What? Yeah, come. Matt, ah, come in. What? Ah, what was that for? Whilst you were out, I checked the security cameras. I know where the banana skin came from. So I guess that means... Yeah. That's right. Go to the balcony. <sighs> Great. I've had my nose broken and I've had my inside privileges revoked. This video has taken a turn for the worse. When I told you about using the causative to describe bad things happening to you, I honestly thought they were going to happen to Joe. Remember that you can find all the grammar notes and examples in the PDF that goes with this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Why not leave a comment? So many options. 
see you in the next video. Uh, Joe, when do you think I'll be able to come in?